the Faculty of Science, NUS. We stay ahead of the future with cutting-edge research and a transformative science education. Welcome to the Faculty of Science, National University of Singapore. I'm Prof. Go Se Song, and I will give you an overview of the wide range of courses we offer and the career opportunities that they will open up to. This is an important junction of your life. You need to choose the course of study. When you choose the course of study, there are various factors that you want to take into account. You have to make sure that you are very interested in what you study. You have to make sure that you are good at what you study. And to this end, aptitude and passion it are essential ingredients that you need to put into the course of study. What do we have to offer for you as output? As output, we'll provide you with knowledge and we'll provide you with skills. And more importantly, we help you to integrate both the knowledge and skills together to train you to be lifelong learners. Our courses in the Faculty of Science all are able to do this for you. Let me give you some facts and figures about our faculty. Our faculty has an established track record of giving quality science education. We are more than 90 years of history. They are all together seven academic departments with 350 academic staff and 4,700 undergraduates. Naturally, we are one of the largest faculties in the universities. The seven departments of our faculty are as follows. Biological sciences, chemistry, food science and technology, mathematics, pharmacy, physics, statistics, and applied probability. If you are interested in chemistry, a chemistry major will be suitable for you. And our chemistry majors comes with specializations in the third and fourth year on modern topics of relevance. Our life sciences major would be suitable for students who are interested in biology. What distinguishes our life sciences major from a biological sciences major is that our life sciences majors are co-taught by our Department of Biological Sciences as well as the paraclinical departments in the Yong Lulin School of Medicine. They are specializations of modern interests like biomedical science, environmental biology, molecular and cell biology. For students who have an aptitude towards the quantitative discipline, they are various majors offered by our Department of Mathematics and our Department of Statistics and Applied Probability. You can major in Mathematics, which is pure Mathematics. You can major in Applied Mathematics or Statistics. And both Applied Mathematics and Statistics, they have specialization. You can also go for a major in Physics. And a major in Physics has three specializations on very modern topics like Nanophysics, quantum technologies, and for those of you who are interested in the stars, astrophysics. Knowledge nowadays is very different from what we have in the old days. We need to be able to bring together different disciplines, and that's why we offer a range of interdisciplinary courses. Food science and technology major addresses the need of Singapore in food processing and food technology, Quantitative finance marries causes from mathematics, financial mathematics to be more precise, business school causes, and computing causes. Computational biology are for students who are interested in mathematics, biology, and computing. Recently, in response to the Smart Nation Initiative of Singapore, we rolled out the data science and analytics major. In the data science and, and analytics major, students actually study mathematics, statistics, as well as computing. And for those students who aspire to contribute to the healthcare industry, you can major in pharmacy. This will train you to be pharmacists. And for those who are interested in the healthcare, in the pharmaceutical industry, but they do not want to be frontline pharmacists, they can consider to be to major in pharmaceutical science. And last but not least, we have a unique degree program called Environmental Studies, 
jointly with the Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences and in conjunction with seven other faculties and schools in the university. And on the application forms, what are the causes that you see? You see this range of causes and you may wonder why are some of the causes not stated there? Those causes, especially those in the fundamental sciences, they are all under the science course. After you got admitted into the science course, as long as you meet the subject prerequisite, you can actually major in any of these causes. And you can enrich your studies. Our science curriculum is actually very flexible. You have a lot of room for you to look into other aspects. For example, you can do a double major or you can even do a double degree. What is the difference between a double major and a double degree? A double major essentially is still one degree. You can finish in four years, but you study two different subjects. A double degree, you essentially have two degrees, a Bachelor of Science degree and a Bachelor of Computing degree. And that, you can do it all in five years to have two honors degree. We are very flexible about double degree and double major. It could be faculty design, it could be self-design. Faculty design means we will be able to come up with a package for you. We offer to you upfront at the point of admission. Self-design, you come to see one of our academic advisors, we give you advice about how to put things together. For example, the double degree between computer science together with mathematics or applied mathematics, that is a faculty design double degree. You can branch between economics from the Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences and you pair it together with our mathematical sciences discipline. That is a faculty design double major. Likewise, life sciences together with psychology. Another faculty design double major. But if you want to be adventurous, you want to study something like, let's say, chemistry as a primary major and Japanese study as a second major, that is possible. And that is what we call a self-designed double degree. The intensity of the second, uh, second major, of course, is less than the primary major. And these are the second major that we offer. But if you feel that the intensity of the second major is still too much, you can always go for a minor. Minor essentially has half the intensity as the second major. And there are many interesting topics that we have for minor. You can do a minor in financial mathematics. You can do a minor in forensic science. Or you can do a minor in medical physics. At the end of the day, we talk about being a lifelong learner. What are the skill sets that enables you to be a lifelong learner? So while we are teaching you the content knowledge in your major or the second major or minor courses, we also have specific courses that will enhance your life skill. Courses throughout the university like quantitative reasoning, asking questions, computational thinking, or we have modules that talks about science communication. And for those of you who would like to have a different spin about enhancing your study, you can also join the special program in science on top of your primary major. This is a program that has been around for more than 20 years and it has trained many graduates to become researchers. Many of them, after the special program in science, they have gone to a top universities in the world to do a PhD. And Every year, we take in about 40 students and there we put them through an integrated science curriculum. The beauty about this integrated science curriculum is that there are four thematic modules that integrates biology, chemistry, mathematics, and physics. At the same time, there are two research modules that you can take in as early as your first year. And these research modules will be mentored by both the professors as well as the senior student. After you have completed this program in the first two years, you'll come back and become student mentor. For students who want to have a taste of research, but they are not in special program in science, it is also possible. You can gain first-hand research experience in year two 
and or all year three. You can work in the lab of a professor and you can branch into and contribute towards scientific knowledge. One aspect about studying in NUS is that some students may feel that they will not have an opportunity to see the world. In fact, if you study in NUS, we have a wide range of study abroad programs, and in particular, if you study in Faculty of Science, there are uh, different kinds of study abroad programs that you can embark on. More than 60% of our students have already have study abroad experience. And the choices that we provide them could range for something very short, that is two weeks to four weeks of a summer program, or one or two semester of the student exchange program, or a structured study abroad program that is at least two years long. Let me explain further about these different choices. For the student exchange program, the university has more than 300 partner universities in different parts of the world. You can spend one or two semesters in the overseas partner university. The nice thing about the student exchange program is that if you spend one or two semesters in the partner overseas university, what happens is that all the courses that you have taken there can be mapped back to count towards the graduation of your NUS degree. At the same time, you will only be paying the school fees of an, as an NUS student. For the summer programs, there are various combinations. You can do a course-based summer school. You can take a module that has an overseas component, like a field trip module or a joint module, or you can go to a partner university to do research. As for the structured study abroad programs, it is possible to do a joint degree with a partner university. For example, you can do a joint degree where the, the honors degree is in life sciences and jointly with University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill or with the University of Dundee. At the end of the day, your degree will bear the crest of both university, NUS and the partner university. You can also do a double degree program. That means you spend some time in NUS, two years in NUS for mathematics and physics, after that, you spend two years in the French Grand Ecos University and you come back for fifth year in NUS to do a master degree. This package of a double degree program actually gives you three degrees. Or you can do a concurrent degree, a life sciences degree from NUS, followed by a doctor of veterinary medicine degree from University of Melbourne. In the university education, apart from academic pursuit, students will be very interested about the student life that they may have. What are the activities that we have in store for you? There are many, many possibilities that you can do. And for example, we have a very active student life in the Faculty of Science. The NUS Student Science Club bring together students from different disciplines and get their strength for the benefit of activities like Red and Flag Day, Project Angel, and Sports Camp. Individually, there are also various academic societies, interest-based society, and multidisciplinary student group. In terms of support, the university offers scholarships to Singapore citizens. The beauty about our scholarship is it offers full tuition waiver. At the same time, there is a monthly stipend and most importantly, it's bond free. This is the commitment of our university and our faculty to support the education of our Singapore citizens. And at the end of the day, after your studies, you would like to proceed on to the next stage of your life. How are you going to prepare for employment. We are also very committed to the preparation for employment. We work closely with the Center for Future Ready Graduates at the university level to offer module and workshop such as career catalyst, career booster, career accelerator skill building. And at the same time, we leverage on our connection with the industry and our science alumni to organize networking sessions 
for our students. And to have a taste about working life, we incorporate internship opportunities into our majors. Students have the option during the long holidays to take internship and not only they will have some working experience, they also gain the necessary modular credit. Lastly, I would like to highlight the employment prospects of our science graduate. Our science graduates are gainfully employed and successful in both public and private sectors. They play the role of either a discipline-based roles or a general professional roles. If you look at an overview of the employment sectors of our science graduates, you will be surprised by the large range of options that they have. Our graduates could work in any of these sectors. For example, they could work in business and management consultancy. They could work in defense and security. Naturally, they can work in education. At the same time, many of them work in the financial services. Some of them become healthcare professional. Some of them contribute towards logistics industry, public administration, all the way to water supply and waste management. And here are some examples of our illustrious science alumni. For example, you have this alumni, we have a chemistry alumni who is working as a senior crime scene specialist. We have a statistics alumni working as a data scientist, a food science and technology alumni as a new product developer, and a life sciences alumni who works with animals. So as you can see here, all these alumni make use of their discipline know-how in their future careers. Some of them are more adventurous. They leverage on their knowledge and they founded their own companies like physics alumni, quantitative finance alumni, life sciences alumni, they have their own companies now. But more interestingly, based on the skill sets that we have promoted and inculcated in our students, they are able to move in different directions of their career. We have a mathematics alumni who is now running a hospital. We have a chemistry alumni who is a managing director of an international bank. The message is this. The Faculty of Science, we may give you only one degree, but the opportunities are unlimited. Feel free to visit us, visit our website, or write to us, or call us, and we'll be happy to talk to you. Thank you for listening and I hope to see you at the Faculty of Science.